Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, before we start, I want to thank everyone who subscribed. Um, at the time of filming right now, the numbers aren't that high, but from literally a standpoint of starting off from scratch, it still means a lot, so thanks very much. Keep the likes and subscriptions coming. Um, today I want to talk to you about the Gibson Vegas. Um, it's a thin line style guitar, um, sort of a similar construction to other Gibson products, but still a bit of a hybrid, a little bit of everything in some other regards as well. Um, as you can see, this is the high roller model. Um, they did a standard and a high roller, as far as I'm aware. Um, high roller has got um, the figured maple top, or the, the AAA maple top, the gold hardware, and also the gold perloid star tuners. It's a wonderful instrument. It's very light. It's chambered, so as opposed to being an ES, like an actual arch top. But the, the cool thing about the guitar is the thin line part of the construction really, really comes through in the sound. I used to be quite skeptical that Gibson twin humbucker guitars didn't sound too different, you know, from, from one model to the next. Um, obviously that's wrong, but it's very evident with this guitar that that's not the case anyway. So it's a very flat neck, it's much flatter than a Gibson, uh, I beg your pardon, than a Fender 9.5 inch radius. I'm, so I'm guessing it's maybe a 12. It's quite wide, uh, it reminds me of an SG neck. Um, as you can see we've got the Firebird style six in line tuners. Then we've got a body shape that is, um, well it's kind of, kind of a strat here and then well, it's kind of something funky down here, and then obviously, you know, you have the F holes and the thin line, so it's really, it's really its own design. Electronics wise, we've just got master volume and tone, which um, is really good if you like to really exploit all the sounds. There's nothing more, well, there's nothing easier, I should say, than switching just to middle position to get your two humbucker sound. Um, with a nice blend rather than having to actually blend it with your volume controls you know and, and then maybe you want to switch back to bridge and you have to turn it back up or whatever so it's actually it's quite nice to have a Gibson with just master volume and tone for, for lots of reasons it's its own quirky guitar so this is one of the cool things um, we've got a Gibson Nashville bridge, Tunematic uh, and the uh, the normal stop bar tail piece um, as far as I'm aware we've got Gibson Burst Bucker Pro pickups, um, which sound excellent, very sort of classic Gibson sounds. Um, we're going to be demoing the sounds of it in a minute. In fact, I'm going to do a modification to the guitar and I'm going to actually talk about something that's sort of a thread in some of my other videos um, where I go on about treble bleed. <laughs> um, and this is this is where you where you where you put a capacitor across the volume pot of your guitar so that as you turn the volume down you're not losing treble high frequencies um, to ground um, so the capacitor retains some of those highs um, this is useful I think which I'll go into in the in the next video so check that out as well so but anyway but one quick demo right now um, is of the sound of it acoustically How loud is that? Something I was quite interested in when I got this guitar was the, um, the feel of the string tension with this headstock arrangement. I'm only used to a three a side Gibson arrangement and um, well I can't really tell much of a difference there is a difference um, we're still we've still got a Gibson traditional 24 and 3 quarter scale length um, but it's great the other thing which really really stands out for me is the sustain my test is always D up to E bending that note I'm still ringing still ringing now it's died out you won't pick it up on the camera but playing that live the other day it literally just it ended up in, a, in an endless sustain cycle. I mean, you'd be hard pressed to find a guitar that doesn't ring out with first position chords. So that's 
pretty much most guitars will sustain there nicely. We do, I believe we've got an ebony neck here. This is before they started using that funky new material. I uh, can't even remember the name of it, but this is an ebony neck. Um, so there we go. Sounds great. Right, so check out the next video for, uh, for, the, uh, for the sounds and the modifications. Don't forget to subscribe. Here's a quick close-up look at the guitar. Check out how thin. It's actually quite, it's quite a thin guitar. Yeah, it's not. The cover is off because we're about to do the mod. Like the headstock. These tuners, these tuners are actually really, really nice. It's a shame they're not locking because on my other guitars are, but. Uh, the Grovers, um, but they, you know, they <laughs> they turn really nice. <laughs> no, but seriously, the gears inside and the precision is is good. So it's good for uh, excellent tuning precision. Um, it's a 2006 guitar. This this actual one. Um, I mean, it's mint. Um, you know, I can't I can't really wait for it to get a little worn and a little road worn. Um, I mean, I, I won't, uh, I won't be dropping it. Hopefully, or doing anything like that. But I do intend to use it. Um, Three-way switches up here. Um, yeah, it's good. I mean, looking at the build quality of it, it's it isn't a custom shop instrument, so I've read, uh, but it could very well be. I mean, it's 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 perfection. The binding, um, the actual. You know, the, the binding all around the body is seamless and on the neck. I mean, the whole thing is just is just absolutely perfect. I'll do a comparison. Let's just go back to the um, the sound comparison uh, of the, the acoustic volume of the guitar. Okay. I'm going to do the same test with a, with a, just a normal uh, late 80s telly right now. Okay, here we are with the telly. I hope it's in tune. Pretty much. Uh, the same test now acoustically. So as you can see, I mean, it's, there's a difference there, it's quite, quite significant. Listen to if I dig in to some single notes. Dig into some single notes. I mean, in here right now, it's about 10 times as loud. So the point is, all of that sound, it comes out of the, of the pickups. Um, so you get this tremendous, body to the sound. Um, it sounds fantastic, as you'll hear.